Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, we've been looking for one of these for a while. I've had several requests for them, have not been able to find one until now. Today we're going to look at a 2005 Georgie Boy Cruise Master and this is the Luxura Edition. Folks, this is about as nice as you can find in a gas burner motorhome without spending a lot more to get a diesel. Uh, this unit is the full body paint, the th it's the model 3640 TS triple slide, only 38,000 miles, of course it's built on the big W24 workhorse chassis, it's got the 8.1 liter Vortec V8 with a class leading 340 horsepower, 5 speed Allison transmission, 22 and a half inch tires, this is basically a heavy duty diesel chassis with a front gas engine. 7 kW Onan generator with only 150 hours powering everything up right now. This is a beautiful full body color scheme. Folks, this unit cost over $140,000 brand new back in 2005. And I'm gonna tell you, this is, this is a nice unit. Uh, got the Guard patio awning, the power steps, all three slide outs have awning toppers. Of course, HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. I'm gonna to try to show you some of the, uh, some of the bays here, which a little hard to do one-handed, so let me set my camera down for just a second. And pass-through storage, and I'm gonna hit this other one right here just to kind of give you an idea. Got them a little tight through here. As you can see, the bays are clean. They're full pass through. They're all carpeted. There's interior heat. Uh, so these are actually heated bays and all your plumbing is in the bays. So that means you don't have to worry about any exposed pipes freezing. This is a four seasons model. Beautiful condition. 10 gallon DSI water heater. Heavy duty trailer tow package. And with that big 340 horse V8, You've got a nice towing capacity. This will tow just about any kind of tow vehicle you want to put behind it. You can see the corners aren't beat up. They're not scratched up. Generators running quiet, that big Onan 7000. Another thing you're going to notice, there's no delamination. Fiberglass roof. I mean, this is a nice motor home that anybody would be proud to own. And folks, here's the thing. It's got 38,000 miles on it. This unit was $141,000 new. The previous owners drove it 38,000 miles and lost $90,000 on this RV. So basically, you're saving $90,000 going with a used instead of a brand new and getting a 38,000 mile top of the line motor home. It's 37 feet long. It includes a, up to a 38, 138 point inspection by our certified RV techs. It also includes a 90 day nationwide limited warranty that can be extended very, very, very affordably. And this thing is, and I've already got the book, I haven't put it in yet. No add-ons. 57938. That's no add ons, folks. That's not including the value of the warranty, the full body paint, or everything else that it's got. The windshields look great. We just had it washed. I mean, this is a nice, nice motorhome for this price range. And I know everybody wants to see inside, so let's, uh, let's take a look inside. You're going to love it. Tell you folks, I've got the generator on, I've got the ducted roof airs on, it's nice and cool. And this is a great looking motorhome, folks. Top of the line, all the way, ceramic tile floors, Corian countertops. I'm gonna set this NADA down right here. We're gonna walk toward the front. 
We just drove this unit in 500 miles. It's got the heated and cooled beverage holders. It's like it's got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. It's got the newer style Allison 1000 five speed automatic transmission with park, just like it's on a diesel. Uh, this unit. 38,000 miles. The backup camera works great. Dash looks great. HD TV. It's got the padded headliner. This really helps reduce outside road noise and road vibrations. Of course, you've got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around. you got a driver's side door. Sleeper sofa. All original carpet. All original upholstery. Everything in here is just like it came from the factory. Uh, like I said, real ceramic tile, deep plush carpeting. Look at these dark, solid wood cabinets. I mean, these are, this is a nice motorhome. Got a nice, tall interior roof height. A beautiful kitchen area. Like I said, these Corian countertops. And you know it's the real deal because you've got the gold seal right here. Not the knockoff brand, but the real Corian from DuPont. It's got two ovens. You see, I'm kind of an amateur cook, and me and my wife and our motorhome, we do a lot of cooking, and that was the best investment I ever did is when I took the microwave out of our Winnebago and put a confection oven in. And because now we have two ovens, and this one right here has already got that upgrade. You've got your propane oven with a stove top, and then you got a halftime oven, which is a microwave and a confection oven, and, and of course we'll make sure everything works. Folks, we go up to, uh, we perform up to 138 point inspection after purchase on every RV we sell that qualifies. So folks, all this that I'm showing you is gonna be professionally checked by RV technicians, and if anything's found wrong in that inspection report, it doesn't matter what it costs to fix it, we're gonna fix it. I mean, we'll spend thousands of dollars to make sure a unit passes that inspection with flying colors because we want want it to be right for our customers and i'm sure you do too you know we've been in business 48 years we sell over 500 used rvs a year so our reputation is everything in the world to us because that's what keeps us in business so we're not scared to spend money on an rv and we've got the capital means to spend money on the rv to make sure everything works on it on that list and you're always more than welcome to get a copy of that inspection report uh, a blank inspection report because we don't do it till after they sell but if you'll contact our non-commissioned salespeople they'll email you or fax you a copy of that list i promise you folks if you sit down with a with a legal pad and a pen and try to write down everything you can think of to check on an rv it wouldn't cover near as much stuff as our inspection report does and folks it takes us a few days to do it but i promise you when you pick this motor home up or we deliver it there's not going to be any disappointments on your end. I can guarantee you that. Uh, here you've got the day-night shades. The upholstery looks great. You know, I'm not hiding nothing behind pillows or anything like that. I know a lot of guys that do videos pile up pillows on sofas. And, you know, to me it always seems like they're hiding something. Uh, you've got all the books and manuals that are included with it in this pouch. And that is included with it. Again, I'm not hiding nothing. The NADA, you saw that, $57,938. or $938. So, you know, we're $8,000 under NADA base retail. Let me tell you something, folks. And I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to print a fake NADA in one of my videos just to show you the difference. A lot of people will post an NADA in their advertising. Well, here's what they do. They start adding for slide outs, even though this unit came standard with three slide outs. They'll add for a refrigerator, for a furnace, for roof airs. They'll add for a stove top. They'll add for a sleeper sofa. They'll add for TVs. They'll add for all this stuff. And all of that is false, folks. You don't add for stuff that did not come with this unit in 2005 when it was brand new. Folks, when this thing was brand new, it was $142,000. You cannot buy this unit in 2005 without TVs. You could not buy this unit in 2005 without roof airs, without refrigerators, without a microwave, without a stovetop, without a water heater, without slide outs. But folks, people add that stuff anyway, even though it's already included with the base price. And this is straight from NADA. Probably a good 80 to 90 percent of the book values you see people post online are overinflated by thousands and thousands of dollars. How many dealers will show you the base NADA? 
and I promise you folks we're the only one that will show you the base NADA I just adjusted for the mileage which is 38,000 miles just like you're supposed to and that's where we come up with our values other RV dealers if they've got one with a 57,938 NADA, folks, they're asking 69,9 for it or more. And they're going to add all those extra features that are standard. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of for sale by owners do that too. And, of course, I know they just probably don't know better. But that's false advertising. You know, we're going to show the base NADA. And, yes, I could probably come up with four or 5,000 in legitimate options on this RV if I have to. But there's no reason two when you're that far under book and that's not including the value of the warranty most dealerships you go to folks you look at a 2005 model with 38,000 miles it's sold as is no warranty unless you buy unless you pay several thousand dollars for one and they also do a 800 900 dollar prep fee that's basically what we do for this for the out the door price of 49.9 they're going to charge you eight or nine hundred dollars for that it's called a prep fee or inspection fee. I mean, they, they come up with different names. But folks, you know, we've been doing this for 48 years. We're one of the oldest and most successful independently owned family ran RV dealerships in the country. Over 48 years in business, we've sold tens of thousands of RVs all over the United States and Canada and beyond. And the reason why, folks, is our way of pricing our RVs, our prices are out the door prices, not plus several thousand dollars in fees like other RV dealers charge. Uh, we don't nickel and dime you to death. You know, other RV dealers may advertise a unit for $49.9, but when you get the out-the-door price, you're already over $60,000 before they even add sales tax because they start adding freight fees, dock fees, tag fees, title fees, uh, prep fees, and all this other stuff, folks. And before you know it, that out-the-door price is several thousand dollars higher than their advertised price. So anytime you are looking at an RV at another RV dealer, besides Parkway RV, always get the out the door price. And that is how, is what will tell you what you're actually paying for the RV. Uh, there's a dealer up the road, one of the biggest RV dealerships in the country, folks. They advertise brand new travel trailers for $99.95. But by the time they add the fees, before they add sales tax, their out-the-door price is over $17,000. It's just a scam for other dealers to get people to pay more for their campers and motorhomes and RVs by disguising the extra profit as fees. And all those fees are 100% dealer profit. You never have to worry about an extra fee here, folks. You know, if you want it delivered, of course, we'll charge you for that. You just pay whatever it costs us to bring this motor home to you anywhere in the country and get my driver back home. We don't make any profit on delivery. That $49.9 is out the door price plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident. Uh, but anyway, folks, back to the tour. We're going to go through this bedroom and bathroom area. And I love this French doors going into the back bedroom. This thing's got a monster bedroom in it, folks. I swear the bedroom to me is almost as big as a living area. But you've got a glassed-in shower. And you can see, always look around the skylights because if they've not kept the roof serviced, you're going to see leak damage around the slide outs. And there's none of that in this one. Uh, vanity area. Got a medicine cabinet. Got the good, uh, the nice plumbing fixtures. I love this dark wood in here too. It just gives it a real home, home style feel to it. Private water closet. You've got the upgrade porcelain RV toilet. Uh, of course, you got to instead of putting just a little cheap fan in here, they actually put the four or five hundred dollar fantastic vent fan. Of course, you've got solid sliding privacy doors, so you can cut off this bathroom and have the entire bedroom and bathroom to get ready in. Got the French door, the windows, and they've got shades too for privacy. And I like this right here, folks. This is a nice, nice bedroom area. And this is neat, folks. It's got the original factory bedspread. Of course, you've got your own air unit here. You can turn the cool jet on and, and really cool it off here in a hurry, but 
this thing's so well insulated that uh, it doesn't take long for it to cool off. You've got your own stereo in here. The lights are on a dimmer. You've got a little get ready area. Let me tell you something, folks. If you're going to full time or take a cross country trip, want to be gone for several months, this is pretty vital right here because you can use this for an office, put your laptop here, your computer, uh, pay your bills. I mean, you need, if you're going to spend a long time in one, you need a little area like this just to do your business and things like that. Plus, you know, the get ready area in the morning or whatever, you can put your mirror right here and you got an HD TV in here as well, man, a huge closet. But look at the space right here in between the foot of the bed and the closet. Now, I know it's hard to judge distance on a video, but you've got at least four foot right here. And you've got a large closet, and they are lighted. So this right here is going to meet all your hanging clothes need. Look at the woodwork. I um, mean, I always look at little touches like that, because when a company goes through the trouble to put little touches like the crown molding and the woodwork around the slide outs, the trim. Uh, you know, they, they generally, you're getting a pretty nice motor home. Uh, got his and her nightstands, reading lamps, storage underneath the bed. You've got a little leather chair right here, a little stool right here for your office or get ready area, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like this is also, this TV is also on a swivel let me see if I can figure out how this thing opens. And if it is, well, I may have to have two hands for that, folks. But it looks like that's on a swivel so you can watch it from a different angle. It's a nice motorhome, folks. And obviously, Georgie Boy really didn't spare any expense to make it as nice as possible. Solid wood cabinets, ceramic tile floored, plush carpeting. You know, it's got the, the top of the line uh, gas engine chassis. It's got top of the line transmission, the Allison 1000 five speed automatic with park. Uh, this should have a built in ice maker in it. Your refrigerator does. I mean, it's this is a nice motorhome, folks, and it's got pretty much everything you need in here. Um, this unit's 49.9. You saw the NADA, the base retails. 57 almost fifty-eight thousand dollars. This is the out the door price. It's not forty-nine nine plus ten grand in extra fees like other dealers charge. We don't nickel and dime you to death, folks. We have financing with interest rates as low as three percent. And we have financing terms up to 180 months with approved credit. Way under book, folks. So this is something that you can buy, and a lot of people don't think about this. When you go to these other dealerships and you pay over retail for one and then you pay all those fake services they talk you into financing on top of it like fabric protection gap insurance stuff that you're never going to need exterior protection and all that stuff folks let me tell you something when you leave that lot you're about twenty to thirty thousand uh, dollars you owe about that much more than their RV's worth and and that's on a used one. A new one, folks, when you drive a new one off the lot, like this one right here, it was $140,000 new. When they drove it off the lot, they could have drove it 50 foot down the road, turned around, brought it back, told the dealership they want to sell it back to them, they would have lost $40,000 or more. Just figure when you buy a new motor home, new camper, new fifth wheel, travel trailer, whatever, boat, ATV, when you, as soon as you take it off that new lot, even if you turned right around 30 seconds later and brought it right back to them, you lost 33% of the value of what you paid for it. Sad but true, and I see it every day, folks. So this, keep in mind, anytime you finance an RV, you want to be in it where you actually have equity and not negative equity. You've got positive equity. And like this one right here, it's $49.9 out the door if you financed it. You know, if you didn't pay anything down, you'd owe forty nine nine with a fifty seven grand book, and actually a higher book than that because that's base retail. You're not going to be hurt in it if you want to use it a year and sell it for what you owe on it, or or sell it for forty nine nine. This unit will do that. This time next year, this unit will bring forty nine nine as easy as it will this year in this current condition. So keep that in mind, folks. You're not hurt in this RV. Now, you go to another RV dealer and buy an R a motorhome like this, 
let them charge you all those fees, all those services. Let them mark the interest rate up 3 or 4% over the what they get you approved for. Keep it for a year and try to sell it. And you're going to realize, folks, you're, you're on a sinking ship. I mean, you're going to have to keep the RV for several years for the payoff to get to where the, to where the value of the RV is at. But you don't have to worry about that here, folks. And that's one of the many reasons why we stayed in business for as long as we have. We've got the lowest prices on the Internet. We don't nickel and dime you. We don't play games. We don't do gimmicks. $49.9 is the price. If you want this unit checked out, ready to go, with a warranty, it's $49.9. You can bring a check for that and drive it home once it's been checked out, of course. It's not $49.9 plus, you know, this, this, and this like other places. If you want financing, we don't make any money on financing other dealership. Mark the interest rates up double or more over what the bank approves you for, costing you thousands of dollars more in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan. We don't have commission salespeople. And I know I say this all the time, folks, but you just do not realize how much money that saves you dealing with a lot a dealership like us that does not have commission salespeople. The average RV salesperson that's on commission gets 25% of the gross profit. That's the industry standard. You go to any commission lot and get a job, that's where they that's where they start you out at, 25% of the gross profit. They don't pay you by the hour. They don't pay you a salary. You only get paid when you produce a sale. And unfortunately, when you go to a lot like ours, You've got, you're working against 40 or 50 other salespeople. You may only sell one a month, if that. And there, you may wonder why, how they keep salespeople working there but under those conditions where they're not making any money unless they sell. Well, it's simple, folks. They offer them that big percentage of the gross profit as an incentive to stay there and work because when they do sell one, they're going to bring home a month's paycheck to me or you because they're getting paid 25% of the gross profit. And as you, the buyer, needs to realize is that that RV dealership, on top of having more overhead, higher prices, fees, and marking interest rates up, have to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. In other words, you're going to pay thousands of dollars more for the same RV you can buy here for thousands less simply because they pay their salespeople with commission instead of salary. Our guys are on salary. They get paid the same whether you buy this motor home or buy it one somewhere else. It doesn't matter to them as far as their paycheck's concerned. Well, that's not the way to do business, folks. Commission salespeople is an outdated way of, of ripping people off. I don't believe in it. We've never done it in 48 years in business. We're never going to. All my salespeople get paid salary. They don't get paid 25% commission. They get paid the same every Every payday doesn't matter if they sell the if they sell a motor home or or they don't. And folks, our buyers prefer it that way because that eliminates all the high pressure sales tactics. It eliminates the games and the gimmicks that everybody hates playing when they buy from a commission salesperson. I will be honest, completely honest with you. Me personally, when I go to make a major purchase or even something as trivial as a cell phone, and I find out that the salesperson is based is paid on commission. You know what I personally do? I turn around and leave because I know that I can get online, I can find other places of business that do not pay commission and save a lot of money. Just like you can too, folks. We do not have commission salespeople. We sell about 15 to 20 RVs a week and we buy that many, so our inventory is changing constantly because of our prices. We're the true high volume dealership, folks. And because we're a high volume dealership, we don't have to get rich on every person that walks in here and buys an RV. We would rather sell more and make less per unit where other RV dealers would rather sell less and make more per unit because that's less work they have to do. In other words, folks, one of my grandfather's favorite sayings was you make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. We have to sell 10 units to make a dollar. The other dealers have to sell four. We have to sell more units. That means we have to work harder. That's the way we were raised. And at the end of the day, we still make our dollar. Our buyers are happy because they saved a ton of money. And, uh, you know, and that also gives us a customer loyalty that's unsurpassed anywhere else. I promise you, folks, I've got buyers that have bought from us for decades or families have bought from us for decades because of how much money we saved them um, and folks 
I have buyers fly in every single week from all over the United States to buy RVs from us. And we're saving, and I hear it all the time. Well, you know, you saved me about $15,000, $20,000, $10,000 coming here to Ringo, Georgia to buy an RV because of our prices and the fact that our prices are out the door. Uh, you know, we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours. Uh, you can fly in here from pretty much anywhere in the country for under 500 bucks. And fuel's cheap, and you can save about 10, 15 grand on your RV, even after travel expenses. You save a bunch of money, folks. That's why we stayed in business as long as we have, folks. The way we treat our customers, and the fact that we save them a lot of money. Now, I will be doing a 360 degree video on this motorhome. Uh, look on the link, you'll see the link in the item description below. Make sure you watch it too. I always strongly recommend you watch both videos because the 360 degree video lets you control the camera instead of me and you get to see it from all angles as I walk through it. But thank you for watching. Give us a call at 706-965-7929 with questions. Evenings and Sundays you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com and you can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Folks, if you'll call ahead, if you're coming to look at this particular unit, if you'll give us a day or two notice, make an appointment. We'll have the unit plugged up or have the generator on, have it cooled off for you because right now in the south we're, we've been in a heat, a heat wave for the last couple of weeks. It's been 95 plus pretty much every day. And you can figure it being about 20 degrees hotter in these RVs when the air is not on. So if you'll call ahead, we'll have the unit plugged in, have it cooled off for you so you can spend some time looking it over without, without losing five pounds of sweat uh, after being in it for five minutes like you would if it didn't have the air on. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.